Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in statics and we're going to do problem 4.68, okay? It says, a twist of 4 newtons per meter is applied to the screwdriver and we need to find F and P, okay? So basically this is our screwdriver, we have our hand and this hand is doing a force, so F and at the screw we have a force P, okay? So basically we have two moment, two, a couple of moments, okay? So we know that the moment is equal to a distance times force. So what happens when I have two forces that are the same magnitude and opposite to each other? So basically, what's going to happen is the moment is going to be defined by the difference between the two forces multiplied by its magnitude, okay? But what's going to be the direction? So for example, in this case, I have a force going that way and the other one going this way. If I were to mimic how that force is doing in the example, it will rotate like this. So it will rotate into that direction and that direction. So basically, in this case, this is a clockwise moment. So same for our force P. So we have a force going that way a force coming this way and our moment will be in the clockwise position, okay? Now, we need to find what this force F is and what this force P is. But they're giving us that the moment that is of the result of these forces is 4 newtons meter. Okay, so we know that moment is going to be equal to distance times force. If our moment is equal to 4 newtons per meter, in this case it's clockwise, so I'm going to put clockwise as negative, will be equal to, now, the distance between these two forces multiplied by my force, so force is the one that I want to find multiplied by my distance. My distance, if I put it into meter, is going to be 0 0.03 meters, okay? Now, this, this moment produced by this force is going to be clockwise, so I put a negative, okay? And then these two negatives will cancel out, so both of them are positive, basically, and we can solve that F is going to be equal to 4 newtons divided by 0 0.03 meters. And this is newtons per meter, I'm sorry, okay? Now, if we find that out, we will get that. If we use our calculator, we find that 4 divided by 0 0.03 is equal to 133 newtons. Okay, so we found our force F. And we're going to do the same for our force P. So we have, we do the same moment. So 4 newtons for me, times meters it's going to be equal to my force P in this case multiplied by the distance between the couple forces. So the distance is five millimeters. So if I convert that into meters, it's going to be 0 0.005 meters, okay? Now, if we solve for P, we'll find out that P is going to be four divided by 0 0.005 meters the top is newtons times meter and let's check how much that is so we got 4 divided by 0 0.005 and it's equal to 800 newtons okay so we found our force f and our force p thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions or any comment just post it down below and I'll see you guys in the next week.